excitement. Shenanigans. Ultra dynamic. Passionate. Clash of the Titans. As far as excitement and just enthusiasm, there's not a better rivalry than, than Lakeside Lake Hamilton. Lakeside School was founded in 1928. 19 years later, another school surrounded by a lake opened across Hot Springs, Lake Hamilton. When Lake Hamilton finally got a football program in 1966, a showdown between the two schools with crosstown ties seemed imminent. The Lake Hamilton game, uh, Lake Hamilton game was uh, started in 68 or 9. And ironically, the uh, coach that started that program at Lake Hamilton was Ronnie Moore. And he was a graduate of Lakeside and, and a basketball player, but never played football. Legendary Lakeside coach Chick Austin played a big part in the forming of this rivalry. When it started, he was the coach at Lakeside, and Ronnie Moore was alumni, and he and Ronnie were friends. And, and Frank Svaneyer played for uh, uh, Coach Austin here also, and played quarterback, and, and I think uh, that in itself, I think, helped in the player relationship as a, a rivalry. The game did not start out as much of a tradition as it is today. Lake Hamilton, that was their startup, so a lot of us didn't get to play but one or two innings because they put the second and third string in pretty quick. It was just a very, you know, they just had not had a background in football at that time, so. You know, a few years later, a different story, but the first few years, they were, they were a pretty weak team. But one game in 1979 changed everything. Our first game with Lake Hampton when I was co head coach, I think that might have been the start. It was in 79, the first time we played, and it was at Lake Hamilton's old field, the last time Lakeside played in the old field, and uh, uh, it was, n the bleachers weren't very big, so during the game, a lot of the fans would line up on a cable right behind the bench. And the game got real intense, and it was, uh, I believe it was tied at the end of the game. Well, by that time, those fans that were at the cable were backed up against the bench. So we went out and had the coin toss for the overtime, and, and it was on the north end, I believe, at the old field. And uh, when I looked around, when the overtime started, well, those people that were behind the bench were in front of the bench, easing up to the hash mark. And uh, when that game was over, they were on the field. And luckily we won, it was a, we won with a pass. It was seven to seven, we scored. And uh, uh, when they got the ball, we uh, uh, were lucky to get a good hit and a fumble and recovered it and that ended the game with that. But it was a very good game and probably the most exciting game I've been in because the fans were right there on you and, and it was just really a lot of fun. Little did they know that this rivalry was now on the rise.